Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So in today's video we're going to talk about what happens if you get a case, you've got the USB Type-C, then you discover your motherboard doesn't have the slot for your cable to go into. So what do you do? That's what we're going to show you. We're going to go through it and basically solve your problem and activate your USB Type-C port on your case. Here we go. So the gadget you're going to need is a PCIe adapter for USB 3.1, okay? You can buy this off of Amazon or anything like that. So you just get this little uh, thing if you uh, need a half size for your case. We don't need that. So we're going to dig it out and see what we got here. Of course, it comes with software, all right? Driver disk and the product itself. So right here, we me get this out of the bag. That's our adapter. Okay, so this is just going to go in. You see, it says PCIe 3.0 times 2, and it even gives you a USB in the back. All right, all that's going to happen, I'm just going to zoom in here, is on this slot right here where you could add a second graphics card, but it's often not used now. You're going to insert this in these slots, and what that's going to do is so that's going to give you this slot which is the slot you're going to need when you normally plug in your USB-C from your case. So we're going to go ahead. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install it. Now I've got it on. So first thing I have to do is turn off the system. So if you're doing anything like this, make sure your system is completely turned off. You don't want to cause any shorts or anything like that. Once the system is powered off, we can go ahead and insert it. Okay, so it's off. Okay, so we're just going to insert it. You just have to line that up in here and just push down so you push it into these slots here and this is it it's pretty close to this fan but don't worry it's not touching it so it's fine okay this would normally be secured to the back of your case and then you're just going to plug it into this slot here for your type c cable and you're good to go nothing hard about it simple and that's it simple nothing to it I think the device cost me like 30 bucks. It might have even been cheaper than that. So you can get that. This is the device. So if you want to order it, okay, that's what you're going to look for. There are different types. So you can order one that um, has other features or instead of a USB on the back, it'll, it'll give you some on the back of it here. So you can have USB-C uh, extra ports on the back of the case. For you, those of you that don't know what I'm referring to, it's this right here. See how that's shaped a little bit different? That's your USB Type C, okay? USB 3.1, right? So this would once you put that adapter in, this port will then be active. So those of you that are wondering about the CD drivers and all that kind of good stuff that comes with it, something I want to let you know about is when you get it, it's going to show you all this kind of good stuff. You can double click the setup, everything. And this is what you're going to get. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So double click setup. It'll take a second. You can see it's doing its thing there. You're going to click yes. So it's going to try and install it right here. It's going to try and extract it. And you're going to, of course, you're going to click next. And accept. And click next again. And it's going to come up with this message. And what it's telling you is your AS Media USB host controller driver is not compatible. But what it's really telling you, even though it's not coming out clearly enough, is that if you look under device manager, that's likely already installed. So in which case you're not going to need the software. So I want to show you where that's at in device manager. So we're just going to close this down. We're going to click OK and finish. And we're just going to get out of here. We're going to open Device Manager, which I already have open. You should be able to see that now. And down here, this is Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And you can see that AS Media USB 3.1 Extensible Host Controller is already there. Windows 10 installs it by default, and so does a, uh, a lot of the other operating systems. So keep that in mind. And you won't have any issues. You won't need the software, the CD driver that came with the product, and you're good to go. All right, so very simple, very quick. Put it in the adapter into the slot, 
plug in your cable into the USB slot that I showed you, and you're good to go. So very short video, nothing much to it. Order it online, Amazon.com or .ca, wherever you happen to be from, and that's it. So if you like that video, hit that like, hit that bell for future notifications for videos coming up if you want to see more. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.